Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 218. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 218 to 220. Hey, trick 218, we want to take a set of data, a little table, and create a macro that will automatically create a pivot table. However, we would like to later, when we run the macro, be able to add new records and have that macro include it. Now, I'm going to show you a method that works in 2007 only for 2.18, and then I'll show you a method that will work in earlier versions for 2.19. Now, in uh, Excel 2007, we have tables, and the table feature has a dynamic range. Now, there's a dynamic range in 2003 called list, but I couldn't get it to work with uh, the pivot table and macro. So here it is. Let's convert this to a table using the keyboard shortcut Control T. And it says my data a table has headers. Click OK. Because we did that, <coughs> it created a name that is dynamic. Well, let's go look at the name. Control F3 will open up Name Manager. And there it is, Table 5 in our data sheet. I'm going to close this. Data sheet. Now, with one uh, click in one cell and then in our data set and then we'll start our macro and create the pivot table. But first, in 2007, if you're doing macros, you either have to use .xls, which is an older file extension, or .xlsm. The .xlsx will not work in 2007. It's a macro-free workbook. Also, the macro buttons and uh, VBA stuff is on the developer ribbon, which you have to add. Click on the orb, go down to options, and then in the popular category right here, click Show Developer tab in Ribbon. Now, uh, to start our macro in 2007, you can either use that button right there, or you can just use this button right here. Let's have one cell selected, and then we'll start our macro. And I'm going to call this Pivot 1, and I'm going to give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, Shift R. That way it'll be Control Shift R. Click OK. We've started our macro. Now we need to start a pivot table. In 2007, you go to Insert. If you're looking at the, um, uh, so we'll do that pivot table, pivot table. Uh, notice the table 5 name. That's why it'll work dynamically as we add new records. Click Existing Worksheet. I'm going to, you could easily send it to a new worksheet. I'm going to select, um, EF1. Click OK. Now in 2007, we can simply take our fields, drag them down to our row area. We can see the pivot table start to emerge here. Sales, SR, sales rep and column, and then we get our little table. And you could format it however you wanted to. I'm going to close this after I've done everything I wanted, formatted the fields, everything. And now, I'm going to stop. There's the stop button in 2007. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to highlight the columns E to K and then right click a column header and delete. I'm going to go to the bottom of this. Notice it's a table. Control down arrow. The way you add new records is put your cursor in the last cell and hit tab. Now we'll do 7 slash 6 slash 2009. I'm going to put 1. It should go from uh, 50 Eight to, I think we. I didn't notice that, but I from it's 58 for sales rep one on this day. So if we add one, it should go to 59. I'm going to put sales rep one and then 0.5. Click somewhere up here and run our keyboard shortcut, Control Shift R, and sure enough, there it works. It works dynamically. So our pivot table actually picked up the fact that we added a record, but only because we had converted it to a table. All right, um, in next trick, I'll show you how to do a similar trick that'll work in earlier versions. All right, see you next trick.